I got sent way too many dang packages, and I did not expect that. Eddie here with Lost Saves. It has been a long time since I've done like a mail haul kind of video. And not only do we have the massive stack of packages you see on the table surface here. We've got all this too. Uh, what happened? <laughs> All right, so full disclosure, some of this stuff will be eBay pickups. Some of it is from you all on the P.O. Box. Uh, not all of it's labeled, so I'm gonna do my best to indicate which is which as we go. I did put a call out that I am looking for anyone's, you know, saved demo discs from back in the day as I am digitizing them and archiving them, but also doing AI upscales of many of the uh, trailers and older videos on them and things like that and ripping them in kind of unique ways and the like. So working on that project and so that's what some of this stuff is some of it is just ebay pickups of a similar variety i don't usually get that much sent to my p.o box so this is way more than i'm used to but we're just gonna dive right in i'd usually break out the giant knife but we're gonna stick with the little one so i don't hurt anything uh i start with the first couple here which are very obviously ebay purchases and then get to some of the stuff you all sent me because my oh my Wow, they even got eBay tissue paper. Who knew that was a thing? All right, so this was a lot of old PC gamer demo discs I picked up. So I'm gonna have a whole video coming, probably a couple videos on like the appreciation of demo discs and how important they were, but also the project I'm working on for archiving and upscaling them. Uh, but there were so many great little nuggets of, you know, archive here with the Extended Play Collection. This one is primarily featuring Ghost Recon 2 Advanced Warf Warfighter? Yeah, Warfighter, Advanced Warfighter 2, I remember that. This one's newer, yeah, 2007. Um, but it's also got Tomb Raider Anniversary on it. We've got Age of Empires 3 as the feature one. StarCraft 2 is the feature, oh my. That's a throwback at this point. Bioshock, Left for Dead, StarCraft 2 again, interesting. And Sword of the New World. So, obviously, a lot of demo discs came from different places. So you had demo discs that came with specific consoles. Uh, for example, my PlayStation 1 Slim had a demo disc on it. Then you have demo discs that come when you pre-order. Sometimes you get a little demo disc. Sometimes you get them included with uh, different bundles. Pizza Hut ran a round of demo discs for the PlayStation 1 back in the day. I only have two of those, but I got them when I was a kid and hoping to acquire more. They might even be in here to digitize an archive and walk you all through the experience at some point. And then, of course, a bunch of different magazines included them. One of the big ones was PC Gamer. There was Computer Gaming World and then the unofficial and then later official. It was the same magazine, but it, be it went from unofficial to official. PlayStation Mag also included a bunch for PS1 and PS2. So there was a lot to these. This one already had to be opened a little bit, so we're going to crack into these. So I'm looking at demo discs across all consoles. The only ones I'm having trouble with at the moment, like I have one PC Gamer disc that I just can't rip. Like it's got a little too much scuffing from back in the day. Uh, this was one I got from a haul from an uncle that I may repost here on this channel from a few years ago. But then Xbox and Xbox 360 ones are apparently encrypted in a different way that my ripping tools cannot manage for some reason. So there, there's probably an easy workaround to decrypt them or whatever, but I haven't worked that out exactly. But a lot of what I'm inquiring, at least off of eBay, is PC gamer stuff. A lot of the stuff that I'm hoping to get in from you all to the P.O. Box, information for that will be in the description below, will be console stuff. Because console stuff is a little harder to get because not everyone took care of their old retro gaming mags and stuff. Whereas PC, you had a little bit more utility to them, so they ended up getting taken care of more. Because with the console demo disc, you just popped them in your console, you could play the stuff or whatever, but that's as far as it went. Whereas with the PC stuff, they included actual demo, playable demos and solvable demos. Some of them included mods. Um, like one of them I had had a bunch of Counter-Strike mods and map packs and things like that as well as some of them had soundtracks like all sorts of extra stuff Whereas those are files that we can more easily play around with and things like that So we got some computer gaming world here Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield. That's a throwback. Oh, those are sticky. Oh, it's just the adhesive. We've got Maximum CD uh, Computer Gaming World Rise of Nations PC Gamer Disc 3.1 from 97 focusing on golf of all things Yikes. Peter Gaming World, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault. Battle Zone 2 from 99. All right. What is this? Is an interplay demo disc just like on its own? Light and Darkness. 
I don't think this is from a magazine. I'm trying to carefully... Yeah, this is just straight from Interplay Direct. Compact disc, Windows 95. Does not run in DOS. Don't mistake it. Ooh, that is cool. Alright, I am stoked to look at some of these. I'm gonna speed through some of these since it's just an eBay haul and because we'll be looking at them more in depth. But we've got Worms Armageddon from 99, Red Faction, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Ooh, that one's gonna be fun to look at. We got Deus Ex Invisible War from 2004, Trailer Park Tycoon from Computer Games. It's not one I've seen yet. Age of Mythology, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3! Ooh. Ooh, OG Far Cry. Very sick. Delta Force Extreme. We got Baseball, Age of Empires 2, Chronicles of Riddick, Invisible War again, Star Trek Deep Space Nine The Fallen, Mech Commander 2, Aliens vs. Predator 2, Real War, this is from 2001, The Fortress of Dr. Radiaki. I don't know if this is the full game or just a demo. We got The Pariah, Motocross, and... Computer Gaming World, Special Edition DVD, free games. Alright. Nice little haul here specifically from eBay. Oh, we got more. Oh yeah, we already looked at those. So this all came just in a big bundle from eBay. I bought a lot of these. Um, I'm trying not to spend too much money on these, but I do want to... I want to get as much archived and uploaded as possible. Like I said, I have a whole video documenting the process and where to find everything once more stuff is available. All right, I believe this one was an eBay pickup as well. Ooh, I think this is just another big lot that I ordered. Ah, oh, hell yeah. All right, these are jewel cases though, so it's not as impressive as it might seem based on the sleeved ones, but so nice just digging into some of these. Demo discs used to be the only way I played games sometimes. Like, ooh. All right, these are going to be PlayStation Mag demos. So we got a bunch of PS2 in here and some broken plastic off the cases. Very nice. I'm not even recognizing some of these. We got a Lego Star Wars action going on here. Looks like some Guitar Hero Rock Band. Baseball, of course. So Caliber? Prince of Persia? Man. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus re-release, I think? Or just release, I guess. Huh. These are very cool. Not a whole lot of repeats from what I have. I'm super grateful for that. Ooh, cars. We got Hit- oh, ow. We got Hitman, and we got Tomb Raider. So, these are gonna be pretty cool. The console ones are going to require more work. Like I said, I will- I'm gonna repeat myself a million times. I, I will have videos documenting some of my process. I have a tool specifically. This is gonna be eBay again, so I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping into this. Uh, I have some tools that allow me to rip the movies off of some PlayStation 1 discs and just completely, you know, raw translation of the files that were on the disc. So you don't have any additional compression or interpolation or anything. And then I can upscale and manage from there and convert them to usable video files. But for PlayStation 2, I do not have such a tool yet. I'm still researching to see if there's anything I have missed, but I don't think there is yet. Every once in a while, one of the PS2 ones will show up as an actual DVD that I can rip. Uh, but most of them I will have to play in the console or in the emulator and capture from there. Now the PCSX2 console has the ability to output just PNG sequences in native res. And so I might pursue that option to get like the most lossless version because it'll just, you know, if I leave everything in native render capacity it won't change much. Um, otherwise I will have to play on my actual PlayStation 2 and upscale with my RetroTink or FrameMeister or something. Alright, we've got more PlayStation Mag demos. We've got Area 51. We've got Soul Calibur 3, Tomb Raider Legend, more Star Wars. So some of these are going to be a little bit of duplicates. If you all, we got Hitman again. Soul Calibur 2. Prince of Persia. Is that Metal Gear? No, that's Tom Clancy's. No, that's Splinter Cell, right? Yeah, Splinter Cell. Driver. The Getaway. Burnout 3. So, I will be setting up if you are interested. Metal Gear Solid 3 playable demo. That's hot. I will be setting up some sort of ape escape, some sort of exchange. So, the duplicates that I have and things like that, we can kind of trade. So, I can try to complete my collection and rips. And by the way, if you do want to send me some of these, ooh, we got classic PS Mag DVD. More Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Fall game preview. Haven't seen many like that. Tekken. 
If you are interested in sending some of them to me to rip, but you want to have them back, that is acceptable too. And then we have some of the general PlayStation 1 ones, which weren't as flary. They just kind of had numbers, although this one has the old school barbed wire look that a lot of people got tattooed on them. So we have a good amount of PlayStation. I'm basically going to have to, once I get all the ripping done, just create a spreadsheet, basically, that details what I have and don't have. And then we can, you know, figure out the exchange from there. But join us on Discord, discord.gg slash evosfox, if you are interested in uh, getting some, uh, you know, getting in on that action to trade, help get these archived and preserved. If you just want to rip yours to ISO and you have a DVD drive and image burn and you want to do that, totally fine. I don't recall what this is. Clearly not a demo disc. Voyager. What the hell did I order? Not me forgetting what I ordered on eBay. Game light. Oh! Sick! I thought this was an eBay purchase. So this is from a Discord member by the name of Fazu. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this. I had this specifically saving for this video and I knew I had more stuff coming. I, I was thrown off by the bag. This is like a camcorder bag. Super dope to keep your Game Boy stuff in. All right, so this is a classic Game Boy. So I have one that I bought off a neighbor as a kid. Oh, and the classic Game Boy bag. Are you serious? I have one that I bought, bought off a neighbor as a kid and played with forever, but my screen has become unglued, and so I just want to have a couple backups. And also, I sharpened my name on it, so this one needs cleaned up a little bit, but otherwise, an absolutely glorious DMG1. It even has a port cover for the for the Link port, which I did not even know they had port covers because mine never did. We've got Tetris. Oh yeah, oh it's it's turned on. We have Tetris in the console. Obviously a lot of these will need battery swaps and things like that, but that's totally fine. We've got games in cases in this thing. I did not think we were getting to this yet. We've got Radar Mission, Mario Golf. What? Oh, look at that. Look at that classic official Game Boy bag logo thing here. We've got World Cup. Two different sports games. Solar Striker. This is amazing. We've got accessories. So we've got the game light. I feel like this is broken. Or maybe it... No, I guess it's not. Slide it... Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Slide it on top. Shines lights kind of inward so you can kind of see the screen more. These never worked super well, but they were pretty cool. But they've got the magnifying glass, too. Pretty sure you just slid this over top. There we go. Gave yourself a bigger view of the screen. Uh, all the Game Boy accessories were incredible. I never had any accessories for the OG, so that is pretty sick. We've got <gasps> Metroid 2? No way. Another copy of Tetris. That's pretty cool. Five on five basketball, and I think that's it for this set. We've also got a wall jack for it. I, it, it's got the official label on it, very worn off. I knew these existed, I never had one. That's wild, that's a heavy brick for a little handheld. Oh, this is really neat. Super shouts out to Fazu in the Discord server. S offered to send this my way. This is awesome. Quite a nice collection of games here as well. And I love the double copies of Tetris. This is just, ooh, I am so stoked. This is a fair bit nicer in some ways than my copy, so very cool. We're gonna get this packed back up real quick here. I love the subdued like theme of this bag here. I'm hoping it'll survive a wash and get it a little bit cleaned up here, but we've got, you know, the basic gray, which doesn't stand out too much, but then you've got the lovely, you know, bluish purple labeling on it and then the pink buttons. Something about it is just like a subdued but still stylish presentation that I really dig. Store our extra Tetris in there. All right. That went from me very confused what I ordered on eBay and forgot about to a lovely little mini haul from a viewer there. All right, we've got more. Ship to Epos box, I love it. Uh, I don't know if this 
is actually from a viewer or if it's just her. Oh, yep. All right. So someone offering, yes, one of the Pizza Hut demo discs that I was very much after with the Crash Team Racing demo, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and Final Fantasy VIII. And of course, Ape Escape is no slouch either. And it looks like it's in good shape. It's dusty. I don't see any major scuffs. So this is Pizza Hut demo disc one. All right. So I had this one in my set, but it was so scratched that I'm not sure I got a good rip of it because my, my primary Blu-ray drive I used to rip things would not rip it. Uh, and I had to use my HD DVD drive, which is already super unreliable. And I haven't tested it yet, but it looks like the size is not correct. So I don't think I got a rip of mine. Mine was too scuffed up. That was one of the ones I had. So I am stoked to have the sleeve for it on top of actually getting a good rip from this. So I am beyond Stokes. Stokes? Stoked. Thank you so much. All right, we've got one that's labeled and super heavy and then two that don't say who they're from and just have these kind of generic labels. We're gonna do these first. So we're gonna start with this one and I have another one that I think is part of the same set. Uh, and then we'll get to the heavy one because I think I know that one, what that one is. But the rest of these from here on out are PO Box opens from you all. Oh, never mind. I thought I knew. I, I thought these would be games from you. Liberty Gamer gaming headset. <sighs> okay. I was saving another box from this company just to open off camera because it wasn't something I agreed to. We've got a total of three Liberty Gamer Techstar headsets here. A completely almost blank mouse mat. Might as well open the rest of it, I guess. And an audio controller for streaming. So you might see this covered on main channel. I don't know about the headsets. I didn't agree to receive those, so those might just get given away to you all. But hey, I guess it's gaming related. All right, so this is a heavy box. I think I know what this is. It's quoted at 10 pounds of video game goodness, if it's what I think it is. But anything's possible now with my mistaken identity on multiple packages. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, yes, my goodness. All right, right up top, we've got controllers. We've got the Nyko Omega 2, which is a chonky boy PS2 controller. It's even got a turbo mode. I don't think I had a turbo controller growing up. They all need a bath, but as every controller, I just hit my camera, every controller you send to someone else will. We got a classic PS1 controller. No analog sticks, very sick. Then we got some games. We got some games. So shout out to this person in particular. They offered like they offered for me to look through their games and pick out whatever I wanted to receive or whatever and then just wound up agreeing to send me the whole thing which was not necessary but incredibly generous uh, some some of your all's generosity is astounding to me but I guess not everyone has priorities of you know keeping certain things so we've got some classic Xbox 360 games here army of two bad company some of these I don't actually have like bad company I for sure don't have I did not have Bayonetta on the 360. We've got a UFC game. We got Black Ops 2, COD 4, Burnout Revenge. I gotta work on this camera angle. I'm sorry, y'all. We've got Black Ops 2, COD 4, DBZ Burst Limit. I've never actually played that one. I've played a lot of the DBZ games, not that one. Burnout Revenge, very sick. Red Alert 3, Crackdown, Modern Warfare 2, Civ Revolution, Gears 2? Are you serious? Dead Rising, World at War, Dead Space, Devil May Cry 4, Learn to Play Acoustic Guitar, Lost Planet, Extreme Edition, Extreme Condition, Colonies Edition, Left 4 Dead 2, Halo Wars, Grand Theft Auto 4, Dead Space 2, Guitar Hero 3, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, Skate, oh my goodness, it's like all of the hits back to back. We've got Enslaved, Odyssey to the Rest, an underrated game, Dead Rising 2, Prince of Persia, Forza Horizon, Vanquish, Ultimate Tenkaichi. I did not have that one either, I don't think, at least not till recently. Splinter Cell Double Agent, Splinter Cell Conviction, 
Split Second, Guitar Heroes, Chronicles of Reddit, R Riddick, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Splatterhouse, Bad Company 2 Ultimate Edition, Crackdown 2, Borderlands, Fallout, NBA Jam, Morph, Prince of Persia, Mortal Kombat, Crisis 2, Homefront, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, Blur, Brink, Dragon's Dogma, Halo Reach, ooh, that's the very nice copy of Halo Reach on the disc, Battlefield 3, Gears of War 3, Portal 2 on the 360, have not owned that yet, Prototype 2, Earth Defense Force, Lost Plant, oh my grid, dude, this, this guy was living at large with like all the dream games growing up. We've got Assassin's Creed Revelations, we've got Resistance, we've got Raymond Origins, Kingdoms of Alamer Reckoning. I did not, I only saw a couple pictures of this binder. I did not realize how many hits this contained. Um, I've got to update my collection app because this fills out a lot of gaps that I was about to go try to fill. Holy balls, Binary Domain, Lollipop Chainsaw, Skate 3. What a binder! What a binder! I did not expect all of that. What in the world? So what is in here then? I didn't know there were two. What is this? We got a memory card 2X for PlayStation. I don't really trust generic memory cards, but we'll see if there's any cool saves on them and transfer them to my mem card plus. By the way, speaking of memory cards, perfect promo time right at the end of the video. I am now selling on Etsy. I designed and 3D printed my own concept for a PlayStation memory card organizer and holder. I have been building them out of Legos and things like that before and have just never been satisfied with the options available. And so I designed one that holds up to five memory cards. It will sit in one place. It has a no slip foot, so it doesn't really scoot around. It's weighted enough that it's not gonna fall over unless you really ram into it. Five slots for games, stores them at a 45 degree angle so they don't fall out. Wall mountable. Nice little PlayStation logo. I'm doing these super cheap at first, probably cheaper than I should given they take over eight hours to print, uh, but something I wanted to see in the world and now I'm releasing it. So just to continue testing with third party memory card options, the mem card, memory card 2X, of course, does fit as well. Link to that will be in the description. All right, final binder time, final pickup of this video. I did not expect there to be quite as much as there is. Sorry, I'm checking on my recording and stuff. I've been transitioning to a whole new setup, so everything's changed and different. Oh my, we've already got Bloody Roar on the PlayStation. Lovely. I don't have that. That is very surprising. I want to keep that separate from the demo discs. We've got the music of WWF. We've got a PlayStation 2 demo disc. Very sick. Star Wars Phantom Menace for PlayStation 1. Even got the manual. We got Warcraft 1? Orcs and humans? I don't have Warcraft 1. I have 2 and 3. I've never seen a copy of 1 in person. Crash Team Racing. Tar oh, all the cla I'm tearing up now. These are the classics when I was a kid. We've got Sesame Street 1X Extreme. Dragon Tales. See, we got some games to play with my kid as well. Hard, didn't leave the kid out. Hardcore 4x4, both in the OG and the Greatest Hits versions. Must have really loved that game. Smackdown and Smackdown 2. WCW Nitro, WWF Attitude. Ah, oh, these are bringing back so many memories. You got NASCAR. You got Twisted Metal 3. You got Winnie the Pooh, Tigger's Hunt. Am I skipping pages here? I don't think so. All right, we good. We got Rayman. We got more sports. We got more bikes. Uh, we got a slot for Pac-Man, Namco Museum. We've got WWF Warzone. We got Driver 2. We got Spyro Ripto's Rage and Spyro the Dragon. And Spyro the Dragon demo disc, maybe? Grand Tour Car and Driver. NASCAR Rumble. Evil Zone. That looks sick. Digimon World 2. The Digimon World games are so hard to find. I think I have two and four now, so I need one and three. Oh, holy hell. Got some more sports. We got another sampler demo disc six. I don't know if I have that one yet. And I think that's it. Oh, I didn't think it could get better after Xbox hits, but these hits were pretty solid too. I can't believe Warcraft's in here. All right, I'm tearing up. Time to end this video. Thank you so much 
everyone who has sent stuff out so far and supported the demo archiving project. We have more to come on that front in the future. If you want to ship anything off, uh, make sure you include a return label or leave a very big note if you want it returned. Otherwise, P.O. Box info in the description below. Go check out the Etsy link for the memory card organizer. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or weekend. And remember, be kind. My, my voice is cracking now. Be kind, rewind. Stop being so generous. <laughs> See you later. Woo. Oh, man.